Hi guys, thank you for joining us for another piano tutorial, this time on the song No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. It's a great song, you're gonna be playing some major and nine chords and some other inversions which are pretty cool. So let's go back to a close up so you can take a look and we can get started. So the song is fairly simple. We're gonna start with the verse. This song has a major add nine chords, which are a great thing for keyboard players to, to add to their vocabulary. And at the same time has a couple of inversions. So let's start with the verse. The verse is fairly simple. It's an, an A major add nine, E, A, B, and C sharp. I would suggest fingers probably one, three, four, and five, especially if you're younger, then F, G, A, C. For the next chord and then G, B, G, A, B, and D. So four keys on each chord, all of them short and one at a time and definitely fingers one, three, four, five, then one, two, three, five, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five as well. Uh, for the left hand you're playing roots, you're playing A, F, and G. So when you're playing this uh, with two hands you're gonna do and definitely don't don't hold them because the way that the song it's played is not being held. Actually, and the sound that they're using there for the recording is is not a piano sound. It sounds more like almost like a keyboard brass type of sound. So let's actually go to the next part. The next part is uh, I guess the chorus. The chorus is is interesting because the song only has two parts. It only has pretty much the chorus and the verse part. The first time that the chorus gets played, which is the introduction, it holds the last chord uh, four measures, then every other time it would be two, but I guess we'll, we'll cover that. So let's go to, to the right hand. The right hand is going to be uh, C, E, A, then B, D, G, then C, F, A. So, and this is two counts each. So we're gonna try, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, Four, and that section almost repeats again. So the chords are, it's an A minor inversion, C, E, A, then B, D, G, then C, F, A, and then again to a G chord, which would be B, D, G. It does it again, the first two, A minor again, G major in inversion, then it goes to the C again. But in this time, we play an extra note, a G, right, right after the beat three. So it sounds like this one and two and three and four and. So there's like a little detail there and after that it changes to C major in inversion, G, C, E, D minor in inversion, A, D, F, and then A, C, E, which is an A minor chord, and then a C major chord and we hold it. So that's gonna be actually four counts, or sorry, four measures. So if I go through that section slowly, it's gonna sound like this. One, This is the part that actually holds the first time four measures, every other time just two of that C major chord. So the left hand is, you're pretty much playing roots. So I'll do it with both hands so you can see it. I don't think there's anything complicated. A couple of just keeping in mind that you're playing A, G, then F back here. And then you're probably gonna need to sw switch a little bit to be able to reach C, D, and then A in a position that it's lower. So I'll do it so you can see it. So it's going to be, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, the section for the chorus. So on this one, I would say try to keep this type of uh, chord one, two, five. So the stretch between these two fingers is a little bit more comfortable. So you can actually reach and get to that place. And again, the song only has those two moments. I guess with the left, it's important to, to mention, you're gonna go starting on that A, then you're gonna go down. And here there's, when you're starting to do that C, you need to play the other A. So you need to look for fingerings that would allow you to, to reach those notes on the bottom. 
But that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a fun song. It's actually played with almost like a string type of sound. So more like, like this. But as a keyboard player, it's important to, to choose your sounds correctly and to know which, which sounds in your keyboard sound the best for each style of music. So that concludes the piano tutorial. We want to invite you to check other videos that we have, including the one on major and minor chords in our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you guys very soon.